Hello everyone, as we know, gold is a precious metal that is often processed into various jewelry such as bracelets, rings, necklaces, and others. In addition, gold is also popular as an investment tool, which is usually in the form of gold coins or gold bars. Interestingly, in the past, gold was also used as a means of payment, known as gold money. This is because the gold standard is easily accepted and used by the public as legal tender. In addition, the value of the gold standard tends to be more stable than other metals. The history of the first civilization to use gold as a means of transaction was in the Kingdom of Lydia, located in western Turkey, around 550 years before Christ. Gold, known as a precious metal, has long been one of the oldest means of payment in the world. The rarity of gold makes it very valuable to people. But, do you know how gold is processed and obtained? Gold is obtained through the mining process. However, there are two main ways to mine gold, the manual way and the modern way. This time, we will discuss the process from the beginning until this gold is used into various jewelry. First, the modern way is done through exploitation that begins with research by experts. They will examine areas or locations that are believed to have abundant gold content. This method helps determine the right location to start the mining process. Once a location that is certain to contain a lot of gold is found, the researchers will take samples from the area. After the samples are taken, they will then be made into a three-dimension model to find out what content is contained in the gold-bearing area. The next step is to blast and excavate the area. The blasting aims to destroy hard rock and the excavation helps to reach the deep layers. Then, with the help of heavy equipment, rocks or ore are transported from the location. This ore is then brought to the laboratory for further analysis to determine the gold content contained in it. The results of this analysis will distinguish ore into two types, high-grade ore with high gold content and low-grade ore with lower gold content. The determination of the ore grade also affects the further processing of the ore. The next stage, rocks that do not contain gold are referred to as waste road or waste rock. Waste rock will be taken to a designated disposal site in the mining area. Meanwhile, low-grade ore will be sent to the leach pad while high-grade ore will be taken to the gold processing facility. There, the high-grade ore will be fed into a milling machine to be converted into smaller grains. The milled rock or ore will enter the final process, which is the separation of gold from sand. However, not all ore goes directly through this stage. Ore containing sulfides will first undergo several additional processes before finally reaching the stage of separating gold from sand. Once all the previous processes are complete, the ore will flow into tanks containing carbon and cyanide compounds. In this tank, the gold grains will stick to the carbon. The carbon that is bonded with the gold will then be taken to the next stage. In this process, the gold containing carbon will be put into a compound specifically to separate the gold from the carbon and turn it into a pure gold compound. Next, the compound will undergo an electrochemical process. The result of this process is referred to as gold recovery from raw materials. The results will then be heated in a furnace or heating device at a temperature of around 21,000 degrees Celsius and then poured into a mold to be formed into gold bars. At this stage in the gold processing process, gold bars that have gone through the first melting will be reheated and immersed in liquid chlorine. This second melting method produces gold with a shape like cornflakes or corn kernels and gold content that reaches 99%. The cornflake shaped gold is then washed using a liquid called aqua regia to remove any remaining contaminants and further purify the gold. After washing with aqua regia, the cornflake shaped gold will dissolve into an oil like liquid. This liquid is then further processed until it turns into gold sand. This form of gold sand is the purest type of gold. The next process of gold in the form of sand will then be melted and put back into the chemical solution. After that, the mixture will be filtered to produce pure gold ore. These pure gold nuggets are the end result of the refining process and indicate the high purity of the gold. In this last stage, 
The pure gold ore is remelted and molded into bars of various shapes, be it thin square bars, thick bars, or other shapes. If formed into bars, the weight size can vary from 1 gram to 5 kilograms. Once the molding process is complete, the gold bars are ready to be marketed. Pure gold is commonly referred to as 24 carats gold, or 99% gold content, which means that there is no mixture of other metals. However, pure gold tends to be softer and easily deformed when used as everyday jewelry. So pure gold is often mixed with other metals to increase its strength and durability. Gold that is 75% or stamped 750 means that it contains 75% pure gold, while the remaining 25% consists of other metals such as silver or copper. You need to know that the color of gold can be changed as desired by mixing other metals. For example, adding copper can make gold reddish in color, while adding silver will give gold a greenish hue. On the other hand, adding palladium or nickel will result in white gold. White gold is a mixture of gold and white metals such as palladium, nickel, and other metallic elements. Despite its white appearance, this mixture still contains pure gold. The result will still appear white with a slight yellowish nuance. That is the process of making modern gold and the various types of gold that we often encounter in trade. However, there are still many who do not know the characteristics of fake gold, so they are often caught in cases of fake gold fraud. The characteristics of fake gold are as follows. The first is magnetic. Despite being a precious metal, gold is non-magnetic. Therefore, the way to spot real and fake gold is by holding it up to a magnet. When brought closer to a magnet, fake gold will react because it contains a mixture of other magnetic metals, such as aluminum, iron, and copper. Usually, gold jewelry that has been mixed with other precious metals reacts when brought closer to a magnet. The reason is, a good gold content for jewelry is around 75%, or equivalent to 18 carats. Second, it is less dense. Real gold has a density of 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter. This is a higher density than other precious metals. Gold density that is less than the standard indicates that the gold has a mixture of other precious metals. This is one of the characteristics of fake gold that needs to be considered. Three, easy to corrode or rust. The easiest to detect characteristic of fake gold is the change in color due to corrosion. Compared to pure gold, gold containing other metals changes color more easily. The highest level of gold purity is 24 carats, making it have a distinctive yellowish, shiny color and long-lasting. Whereas gold mixed with other metals will rust over time because it corrodes easily. 4. It will react to acidic liquids when soaked or treated with vinegar. Metals that are not pure gold tend to change color, corrode, or show other signs of chemical reactions. In contrast, real gold will not react, change color, or show signs of corrosion when exposed to acidic liquids. Fifth, it weighs less. Generally, real gold is heavier than precious metals that have a gold coating. This can be proven by weighing it directly or trying to lift it. Cheaper metals are relatively light when lifted or worn as jewelry. For this reason, wearing gold jewelry with high purity levels will feel different from other precious metal jewelry that is only coated with gold on the outside. Those are some characteristics of fake gold that can provide additional information before you choose gold for your needs. Thank you for following this gold-making journey. Feel free to leave your comments or questions and see you in the next content.